Hey family, this is Navis Paulino, founder of Galilee Life. Um, it is such a pleasure and such a blessing to be able to speak with you guys. I know it's not in a form of live video, um, but I wanted to share some of the things that God has placed in my heart. Today specifically, um, I thought about myself uh, just uh, years ago. Um, I can't say a couple of years ago, I would say a little bit more than that. Um, but I remember just asking God why why certain things were happening to me why did i have to go through this through that um, and now that i think about it i'm almost uh sad that i question him i know that while we're going through what we're going through sometimes we don't see a way out sometimes it's very hard to see the other side of things or to really really understand what it is that god is doing sometimes we just don't get it and that's okay as well sometimes god doesn't allow us to see the big picture for a reason right he needs us to go through the season he needs us to be able to really really submerge in it to be able to then um, as time goes on go back to those times and say wow god you delivered me from from this um i no longer question god um even as I go through the smallest of things or the biggest of things, I just don't question him anymore. Um, and the reason why is because the things that I have been through, have I've been through them for a reason. Um, either is to minister to someone, to be able to help and relate a message that may, have, may not be able to be relayed any other way or may not be able to be relayed in the way that you would. Um, God uses specific people for specific times and we are just so blessed sometimes to be chosen to be those people it is hard to recognize when those times come uh, but the more you are in his word the more that you see Christ and the more uh, that you spend time in his presence you're able to understand when the enemy is attacking you. You're able to understand when God is just having you go through something. There's a test um, that'll test your character, uh, <laughs> that'll test your strength. Um, and there are times that he needs us to go through things so that we can fully depend on him. Um, I know today, for example, he brought this special verse um, to, my, to light. Um, which is uh, found in the book of Daniel, um, the book of Daniel um, chapter 2, verse 27. And it says, well, I'll go actually from verse, uh, verse 26. I issue a decree that in every part of my kingdom, people must fear and reverence the God of Daniel, for he is the living God and he endures forever. His kingdom will not be destroyed. His dominion will never end. He rescues and he saves. He performs signs and wonders in the heavens and on the earth. He has rescued Daniel from the power of the lions. And I know you guys remember the story of Daniel in the lion's den, uh, where he might have possibly not seen a way out, but God always has a way out for us all, just like he did for him. Um, God has brought me out of so many different situations. There are times where I thought that I just didn't deserve it uh, because at times there were situations where I couldn't control um, what was going on at the current moment. But then there's other situations where I felt that they were just decisions that I made, wrong decisions, right? But God doesn't see those, right? We have a God that can turn the bad into good, a God that cares so much about you that loves you so much um that his great his grace is just beyond our understanding his love grace and mercy so i just wanted to share with you today that um, regardless of where you are in life what you may be going through um, whether it's a decision that you made that brought you somewhere or whether you just kind of stepped into something that you just didn't know that you were stepping into right um, because there are so many traps of the enemy as well um, that we just fall into and we just sometimes we just we can't we can't discern it we don't know what it is um, and I just want to tell you that no matter where you are God still has a purpose for you and you're never too far from his mercy you're never too far from his love and you're never too far from 
from his arms embracing and caressing you so i i don't know the lord has been speaking to me a lot um this past year and a half close to two years i would say and he's had my heart break for um, victims of suicide and people contemplating against their lives um, and people just that feel hopeless. And this is not just in the, you know, non-believers or um, the non-Christian community, whatever you may say. We find these people in that preach faith, right? That preach love, that preach the gospel and they find themselves trapped, right? Because that's what the enemy does. He waits for you to make a mistake. He waits for he waits for you to stumble. He puts these these situations in front of you, so that uh, once you stumble across them, or you know you fall into temptation, or whatever it is, he makes you feel like there is no way out, and that is not true. That is so far from the truth, and I say that to you with all honesty. It is so far from the truth. The Lord is closer than you think. He is there ready to rescue you. You just have to just, you know, pull your hands out and just say, God, I'm here. Um, I can't do this alone. I need you. I need your strength. And the Lord, I mean, he's so ready. He's so ready. So this is my word for you. Uh, keep the Lord present in your life. Um, one of the things that um, I was speaking actually recently um, with my sister and um, a few other people, actually, I think my husband as well, is that um, how can we combat the enemy when we are not reading our Bible? And this is not just about verse memorization. Um, it's not just about um, you know, knowing the Bible inside and out and being able to recite a verse or whatever it is, or paragraphs of the Bible. It's more so, um, how do you combat the enemy without truly knowing God? And there is no way to truly know Jesus than to really read the Bible and understand. Um, and there has to be a balance, right? So reading your Bible and in prayer. So as you read your Bible, you ask God in prayer to allow you to understand the context behind each word, to be able to uh, really fully understand what he's trying to say. So with this, I leave you with um, just rely on the Lord. Um, never feel so lost that Christ, that you feel Christ is so far away. Um, he's closer than you think. And no problem is ever too small for him. Um, he's rescued me numerous times. He continues to rescue me every single day. Um, every day comes with a struggle of its own. Um, but as I say, start with Jesus and with Jesus. Um, I start with him very early in the morning. I may not kneel down to pray, but, um, I have my alarm set up to, so that I can at least have a few seconds or a few moments to just say, thank you, Lord. Thank you for waking me up this morning. Thank you for what's coming because I know I'm not alone. You are not alone. I love you so much. Um, I sometimes I think I get overwhelmed with the things that have, you know that go on in my life and the things that I have going on that um, that I don't say the things that God has placed in my heart. Um, but um, I would definitely make more time um, to be able to speak the things that He has um, not not just for me because a lot of them are for me as well but not just for me but for for others that need it as well even if it's just one person that's okay um, as long as it touches one that is okay with me and that is okay with the lord god bless you i love you so much again i'm navis paulino founder of galley life um, and if you haven't been on there uh, you haven't gone to our website um you haven't visited our profile please do there's a lot of awesome things going on um, and we would love for you to form part of that. Um, I love you. Bye-bye.